Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how you can exchange data between Microscopy Image Browser and iMod, one of the popular programs for image segmentation and visualization. Uh, iMod is freely available from Boulder, Colorado. For example, you can Google it iMod Boulder and then you'll get to this page from where you can download it. Okay, so uh, what I have here, I have a data set, um, Trypanosoma brucei and the model done with Microscope Image Browser. So I load the data set so that you can see it. So these are individual cells of trypanosomas and one of them I modeled. So first I load the data set in MIB and now I'm loading the model. So you can see here that there are four organelles. Blue is nuclei, green mitochondria, yellow and the plasma reticulum and uh, uh, vermilion is just this uh, lipid vesicles. Okay. So maybe I'll make it a bit less transparent, a bit trans more transparent. All right. So uh, what I want to do, I want first export this model to uh, iMod for maybe visualization or maybe additional segmentation. So to do that, uh, first I will save my image in the iMod format, which is MRC. So I go to menu, file, uh, save as, and select MRC format. Uh, provide the pixel size. So now it was saved. You can see that it appeared here in this folder. Uh, now I go to my model and uh, select save model as. And from the save as type, I'll select uh, mod contours for iMod and press save. Now this dialog appears and this dialog basically asks you what kind of uh, resolution you want to get. So if you use the default parameters and it will take from each contour from of each object to take each fixed point. Uh, if you want to have models at the highest quality then you can put for example one here. In other options it will show you uh, show the detected points as the dots on the uh, at the edges of the surfaces. So for example I can put one now and I should get uh, kind of outlines of my objects. So uh, now I selected these parameters and uh, MIB exports the models, the model that I have into the iMod MOD format. Okay so and then if I zoom in I can see in green uh, here in the selection layer the actual peak points that were exported to uh, to iMod. I clear them with Shift C command. Uh, okay, so now uh, in the directory where I saved the data, I have two additional files. One of them is Trypanosom MRC, which is actual images, and another one is labels. It's the uh, mod model file for iMod. Now uh, we will start uh, command prompt. So I just type here CMD, and uh, if I have it open in this uh, in this my computer window, then it we starts right at exactly the directory where we have the data. To start iMod, we type 3D mod, enter. So this window starts where we should define our model and the image file. So the image file first, it's this Trypanosoma MRC, and the model is this labels for trypanosoma. Okay, and there are a number of other parameters but we probably don't really need to touch them. Press OK. So now you can see that uh, the data set is loaded and I can actually see, see it. You can see that all my four objects are all nicely shown here. Uh, um, okay, there's the main window. So we can also go to the uh, model view window this is the 3D visualization of our model and you can quite nicely see that uh, well, the models pretty were pretty nicely converted to, uh, to iMod. So for visualization we can actually uh, mesh the surfaces. So I can go to object, uh, a menu, edit objects and here in the, at the very bottom there is meshing uh, entry in the dialog and I can mesh all the surfaces. 
So now, previously they were as contours, and now they are as, as real surfaces. They, they tend to be quite dark, so we might need to go to the uh, materials, uh, and then add some, uh, change their colors. We can change them like one by one, or we can change them all at once. If we select this edit all option, then we can add ambient light, and maybe some other light like diffuse, spectacular, this. Okay, and then after that, if I zoom in, I can see that the models are quite nicely rendered in iMod. So uh, we have all our organelles seen, and uh, we can use the iMod for all kinds of visualization which we might require. <laughs> now, uh, since this is like a model in iMod, so we can also do the iMod tools for additional segmentation if needed. And if when it's done, so uh, what we can do is it can we export this data back to MIP or not? Uh, the answer is yeah, yes, but it's not that straightforward. So to save the model, I can go file, uh, save model as, and now I'll call it Triplasoma Labels iMod, just indicate that they, it comes from iMod, and save it. So now I have it here, this file. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to convert this model into the format which we can actually open in Microscopy Image Browser. To do that uh, on the iMod help website, uh, we need to use one of the commands uh, here. And the name of that uh, command is iMod mop. So it's available from the list of all uh, programs included in iMod package. So uh, to start it, okay. We type here iMod mop, mop. Now uh, there are a few options. So okay, there are many options in the actual function, but we need two. The first option is uh, called objects or dash o, and in here we need to select what an index of the object that we want to export. So since we have four objects, we have to go from one to four. So first it's object one. Then the second option is the mask, or this dash ma, and this parameter uh, indicates what kind of index this object one will get in the output file. Now uh, we need to select model file, so the model file is labels triponosoma i mod, and and it's mod like this. Uh, then we have image file, which should be this Triponosoma MRC. Triponosoma MRC. And then output file. So um, I don't remember which object is which, so I just call them object1 MRC. Press enter. So now we generate this object1 MRC, which has our first object in the bitmap form. Now we repeat this command for the second object, so we change O2, mask2, and the file name, I can't change the finger, uh, the file name is object2, okay, then uh, object3, mask3, object3. And uh, the, the final object, 4, 4, 4. Okay, as a result, we just exported now and generated four files. The file uh, object1 contains our first object, which is... Well, I don't know what it is, but... Okay, one of these. Second, third, and fourth. So now we switch back to MIB. I'll clear the model so that we don't have anything. So this is our original model and then we want now import the model that was modified or changed in iMod. So we go to the model menu, uh, load model. Uh, by default it shows the models in MAT, MATLAB format, but here in the filter we select MRC and now we need to select all these four models and press open. 
So what it does now, it loads them all these modules one by one and assemble them together into the one uh, uh, one file. Now you can see that okay, we have this object one, two, three, four, and then these all objects are shown here, and then we can see that they are uh, practically match those that we used to have uh, originally. Okay, so that's it. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you very much for attention.